Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this channel. I'm Alexis and I'm Mondays on this channel if you didn't already know. This week is Halloween week so I'm just going to be talking about some of my favorite conspiracy theories that really creeped me out and I'm just going to share them with you guys. So yeah, let's get started. So the first theory that I have to talk about, I'm sure all of you have heard it and if you haven't, like, where have you been, you know? But that is the Mandela Effect. So a Mandela Effect is when a bunch of people believe that something happened, but in reality it's something totally different from what they all think. It's called the Mandela Effect because there are a bunch of people all around the world that remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 80s when he actually really died in 2013. And there have been articles and books found that even mention Nelson Mandela dying in the 1980s, which apparently never happened. So one of the most popular Mandela effects is the Berenstein Bears. So the Berenstein Bears is a book series from a little while ago. I remember reading it all the time, and I, as well as many of you, probably remember it being spelled E-I-N. But no, apparently this whole time it's been the Baron Stain Bears. This was one of my favorite book series as a kid, and I'm pretty sure I would have remembered it being the Baron Stain Bears. And just, it looks so wrong with AIN. So recently there was a picture that went viral, and it was of someone's VHS tape that they found, and on the front of the tape, it says the Baron Stain Bears. But you can see on the side of the tape that it says the Baron Stain Bears, and I'll insert a picture of that. weird. So another Mandela effect that's pretty popular is from Silence of the Lambs. So it involves the scene where Hannibal Lecter first meets Clarice and a lot of people remember him saying hello Clarice when they meet. Except he never does. He says good evening Clarice. And it sounds totally weird because I've seen a lot of different things where hello Clarice has been referenced in countless movies and TV shows but he never said it. Another one just like this is from Star Wars, and that is that a bunch of people remember Darth Vader saying, Luke, I am your father, except he never says that either. He says, no, I am your father. And again, the first one has been referenced in so many different movies and TV shows, yet he never said this line. So I could go on about this theory for literally so long, but the last one that I'm going to talk about today is the color chartreuse. So a ton of people remember the color chartreuse being like a pink reddish kind of color when in reality it looks like this. Just a little weird. Um, so there's a few different theories on why the Mandela effect is a thing and the one that I'm going to talk about is time travel. So people believe that in the future time travel is a possibility and that if someone goes back in time and changes a small little detail, it basically creates this butterfly effect where the smallest thing can change something else and it can eventually lead up to something big being changed. So the next theory that I have totally creeps me out and that is about the Titanic. And before I get into this, I want to say no disrespect to anybody that was a part of the Titanic or that survived or went down with the ship that night, but here's a theory on it. So around the time that the Titanic was being built, there were two other ships built by the same company in the same port, and those were the Britannic and the Olympic. So the Olympic was launched a year before the Titanic set sail, and it had two accidents. And basically what this theory says is that the two accidents to the Olympic would have been enormous to repair and the company wasn't going to get a lot of insurance back on the boat that they had spent all this time and money building. So as the theory goes, the company switched out the Olympic and the Titanic so they could stage the Titanic sinking and get the money back and the insurance for this accident. So there's a few things of evidence for this theory and the first one is that when the two ships were being built, the Titanic had 14 evenly spaced portholes and the Olympic had 16 that were very unevenly spaced. 
Well, if you look at a picture of the day that the Titanic set sail, the Titanic ended up having 16 unevenly spaced portholes. Also, the Titanic's insurance was increased five days before it was marked to set sail. So another fact that is just a little spooky about this theory is that there was a wealthy businessman, J.P. Morgan. So shortly before the Titanic's voyage began, J.P. Morgan canceled his trip. Five of his friends ended up canceling their trips too. Again, I could talk about this theory for so long, but I'm just going to say one more piece of evidence, and that is when the Titanic hit the iceberg, supposedly. There was a ship, the Californian, that was traveling a little while away from the Titanic, and many people believe that the Californian was set there on purpose so that when the Titanic did have his accident, that people would be saved. So you might be thinking, sure, there's just a ship, you know, there's lots of ships out in the ocean. It could just be a coincidence, but here are some things that are a little weird and creepy about that. The first one is that the Californian was supposedly 15 miles from the Titanic, and many of their survivors say that it was a clear night the night the Titanic sank, so the Californian would have been able to see as soon as the Titanic hit the iceberg and began sinking. Not only that, but the Titanic was firing rockets, so those would have definitely been seen immediately by any other ships in the area. Also, the Californian that was traveling next to the Titanic had no passengers on board, and the only thing found on board besides the crew was a bunch of blankets. Alright, so I shot the video yesterday, and I had literally so much footage that the video was so long, and so I'm going to be doing a part 2 over on my personal channel, so make sure to check that out. The link to my channel will be in the description box down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next Monday. I love you. Bye.